So hello everybody. Today we're going to do a cooling mod as I have promised. This mod will include covering my cooling block with some copper sheets. I'm only going to cover heat pipes and memory cover and I will skip NVMe drives. Copper sheets that I'm going to use are simple ones that came rolled up. They are used for a number of applications so you will find them without any problems. I have decided for those since they are really easy to work with and they stick to the surface perfectly. I have already pre-cut mines and I already did my first layer. Now we are going to do the rest together. I would advise you to have some tool with straight edge which we will use to make sure that sheets are bonded together perfectly. I am using my scrapping tool for my 3D printer. Now we will need to cut those sheets so that they will fit on our heat pipes on the sides. My goal here is to try to spread the heat as much as possible. After all sheets are in place we will need to use some tool with rounded edge. I would advise some soft plastic or hard rubber. We are going to push copper as much as possible in between heat pipes and any cavities. After that we can use smaller tool with straight edge to press sheets even more to each other. I will be using my prying tool since it is perfect for this job. Now we will need to cut any excess sheet. I will be using my sharpie. Please be extra careful since cutting with knife around components can be dangerous to you and your machine. First make sure that you can see where the edge is and after that just slowly cut all excess copper. After all is done, please make sure not to forget small standoff rubber that will support your back cover. Now I'm going to add three thicker sheets covering only heat pipes. I will stack my current sheets and then cut them to the right size. After we cut them now is the time to decide where to place them. I went with this arrow style hoping that any extra air pulled from the middle will passively help with heat dissipation. One last step is to apply some thermal pads to my memory chips. Since it's already covered with copper sheets, we can use it and keep our memory cool. I've also applied some thermal pads to NVMe dry covers and on top of my cooling block, since cover is made of metal and it will help with heat dissipation. After that is done, just put everything back together. Now let's take a look at the results. In general what I have noticed is that my machine is much cooler in everyday use and fans are not ramping up that much. Also I have noticed that even when they do, they would not stay on long as they used to. All of this was observed in performance mode, which in my opinion is some sort of wild west and we never know how it will react to load and temperatures. Also worth mentioning is that in silent mode, this machine is now finally silent and I can browse the web in actual silence. All real benefits of this mode are best seen in performance mode where my GPU was able to hit and sustain more power. Also CPU was using much more power in Cinebench, since before the mod it was hitting 76 watts and now it's hitting 81 watts. Looking at sustained power draw, we can see that it went from 65 to 75. I mean, all cores at 3.9 GHz is just crazy. I will be doing another video about fine tuning this machine within software, since Lenovo did not give us much to play with. Also I will be checking my theory regarding the softness of my thermal pads, so stay tuned for that one. My theory is that my pads are a bit too hard and not able to compress enough, which would introduce unevenness between CPU and GPU dies and cooling block. I will need to check that one out and report back basically. Thank you for watching and also consider subscribing. Cheers!